family moved to this standard upscale suburban home after roughing it for a couple of years to save up. We also got a deal on the home because it was a model home before it was ours, like had all the fake furniture to show off the neighborhood homes. Anyways, it had this loft area with two stairwells that go up to it, one in the front and one in the back. You could pretty much hear everything from this loft since it was so open. One day, my two best friends, Guy and a girl, are hanging out in the loft. We were in HS, and they were horny, and always all over each other, whether I was in the room or not. We were watching TV, and I get up to take a piss. When I left, they were all up on each other. When I came back, they were on different ends of the couch. I just had they had gotten into a fight, so I asked what was up. Your little sister is home, the dude says. My face turned sheet white. What's wrong? The girl asked. I asked them what made them think that. They said they heard her. I am sort of freaking out at this point. No one's here, I say. We check the house, and I'm right. Well, it turns out that before it was a model home, a family lived there, and a little girl had been playing in the loft, but had climbed on the railing and fell to her death below. My two best friends swear, to this day, that they heard what they thought was my sister laugh and run up the stairs, hitting her hands on each step like she was running up on all fours. I never had any encounters other than the fact that right next to where she landed was the house's central intercom. We had an intercom system in every room that you could play music through or talk to each other. Every so often at night, at the same time you'd wake up to the intercom button being pressed and just the blank sound of static airways, like someone was holding down the button, but no one was speaking. My room was on the third floor, and I'd have to walk down to the bottom to the main unit and turn it off there. I always thought I'd see her. <laughs>